If you thought that listening to me speaking without a script was cringy, you'll definitely love this video. This is me. What's with my chin? What's with my eyes? Is that an animal on my head? Well, I hope you enjoy this. Oh, you don't recognize me. Is that better? First of all, before we do anything, 100k subscribers! I missed it. So yeah, you may notice that everything looks different now and that's because I tried to be smart and I used new settings and... I kinda blew the audio, so I'll have to record the entire video again. But yeah, before we do anything, uh, I'm gonna grab my knife and I'm gonna get this letter that I got from one of you in my PO box. That's actually the very first one. I kinda don't wanna show address. It came from Paris. I think. And it costed one euro, actually. That's not a lot, really. And um, this arrived in January, and it is now definitely not January, so if there is anything with expiration in it, then it's kinda maybe screwed. So let's get into it. So yeah, um, the part where the, where the video cut off was where I was opening the letter that I got from one of you, also known as my fans. I actually don't like to call you fans because, I don't know, it's not really personal. Fans are just people that follow someone and, you know, they are happy for everything that he makes. I don't know, you're more like my friends, I guess. But yeah, um, I got a, a letter from one of you and that letter um, was from Ernest, I can say that, and he's from France, and uh, he basically asked me if I'm still playing World of Warcraft, to which I'll say, um, yes, I am actually playing on the EU servers, um, I'm playing on Spinebreaker, that's the main server where I have my monk, called Necrit, obviously, and then I have Warlock, called uh, Kargat. And these are my two mains at the moment. I don't know if like anyone would like to join our guild, but uh, we are called For Fun. And we are what I like to call a semi-hardcore raid, uh, raiding guild. We basically uh, raid twice a week. and But when we do, we really try. We try a lot, but... You know, outside of that, we are just casual players that like to have fun, really. I mean, I personally am currently on a break. I am not currently playing World of Warcraft, but when Legion comes, I'll get back on it immediately. Um, the other thing that Ernest said in this letter was that uh, he had a cat that was actually named Necrit and... Either that is a really funny coincidence or he named it after me. But I actually don't think that he named it after me. I actually think that it was coincidence. But sadly, uh, he died. Which is sad, really. He nearly actually beat the world's record for the longest living cat. That's actually really awesome. And he included a address so I can write him back, so I'll definitely do that. And thank you, yeah, uh, the other thing that I got in this, hold on, I'll actually show you the, without showing the address, um, this is the picture, the little picture that I got on there, and I hope you got it, I'll, I'll blur the um, address in case you see that. Um, the other thing that I got with that is an awesome World of Warcraft art, I immediately got it, what it was and it is a print from photoshop and it was uh, colored in with pencils and it is a goblin rogue i absolutely immediately got that 
Actually, goblins are the only... It's the only race that I don't have at level 100, so... I'll get it soon. So yeah, the other thing that I wanted to do in this video was... The Q&A, so let's get right on that. The first question comes from Achawa3. Uh, with the question of... With 100 subscribers, what is your goal for getting 1 million subscribers? Time-wise. Also, what content do you plan on adding on your channel and what type of videos do you enjoy uploading? Um, first of all, my plan on getting 1 million subscribers? Time-wise? I have no idea. Is it my goal? Definitely. It is definitely something I'm going to work for, but... You know, I don't really have the visuals for that, so... I'll just not show my face. Um... The other part of that question, uh, what do I want to add on my channel and what do I look uh, like uploading? I would love to do gameplay. I know that you guys asked for it quite a few times actually, and I'm the kind of guy that can't really focus on doing two things at once, um, which means that if I ever play like a full game of League and I try to commentate over it, I have no idea how it will go, but I would love to do more gameplay videos. And outside of that, I would actually love to play other games as well. For example, Overwatch is a game that I really want to try, and I really mean it. But I'm kind of scared of what would you guys think of me if I jumped on another game. Of course, not abandoning League, because League of Legends is the main game of this channel. But I would like to get more diverse. Uh, second question is from Clintstar. Uh, how long is your penis? Um, I'm not complaining. Mentas Gliaudis, when will you record yourself in your video? I'll do it tomorrow. Ramos asked, have you ever touched a turtle? Redstone Warlock asked. Quite a few questions, actually. First one, favorite champion lore. Um, that's gonna be Aurelian Soul, honestly. And then we have favorite champion concept. That's gonna be... If you mean concept, as in um, before the champion was released, that's gonna be... Brom, because Brom was actually a woman before he got released, and he was actually a Hextech engineer. Um... Then we have favorite champion kit. That's gonna be Lux. Lux or Twisted Fate. These two are really enjoyable when you play it, which means that they have a really good kit. Um, and then you have most fun champion. That's gonna be Zed, honestly. Uh, and, but then we have favorite fan created champion and fan created champion um, Quinn. That's a bit of information for you. Um, favorite champion lines, top 10. I don't really have time for top 10, but what I can do is top 3 that I'll uh, add in in post, like... Knowledge through disintegration. The pinnacle of your glorious evolution stands before you, Victor. Are you not pleased? Can't wear the crown till the king's dead, little girl. And the last one, have you ever eaten a dog? I wasn't really that lucky yet. TTPT TTB asked, can you show us your cat, please? I mean, I can. I hope I don't ruin my MacGyver studio. So yeah, this is Eddie. I have no idea if you can see him. Eddie, that's people. That's people, right there. Not me, you know me, you don't know them. You probably can't see him. Anyway. Are you gonna eat the microphone? You don't usually do that. But yeah, he's gonna hang out around for a while. Thanks, Eddie. Nico Hayden asked, what is your favorite lore in any video game? That's gonna be Mass Effect, definitely. And I'll say that the first Mass Effect was really hard on information, like you got a lot of new information and it was 
and it was probably hard for a lot of people to, you know, kind of understand. But then the second game came out and it really enhanced the experience and the third one, I still think, executed the lore and the story perfectly. But I understand that some people don't like the RPG aspect of the third one because it wasn't like a huge upgrade, it wasn't really that awesome, it was really good shooter and as I said the story was still good but the execution of the RPG as aspects was not that good. Wilhelm Hudak asked Aurelian Sol or Aoshin, which concept do you like more? Agent Drake of Storm or Dragon of the Stars? And why? Um, honestly, I think that Dragon of the Stars is still better because I'm a huge guy about that, you know, I have a huge passion about space. So I like space, I like galaxies, stars, planets, whatever. Just the creation of space, you know, and Aurelian kind of answered that because Aurelian is made out of space. You would know that if you watched my lore video. Nick the Gamer asked, why are you such an awesome YouTuber? Because I have fans like you. Vexazi asked, Necrit, are you secretly a snail? I am, in fact, a cat. Ren's Raven Masterpiece asked, what website do you read all champion lores? Um, well, the main site is definitely uh, the main League of Legends page uh, because they, you know, you know that their lore is canon because Otherwise, it wouldn't be there. But if you want a really good site that summarizes all the lore in a very easy to read way, um, it, just go to the uh, League of Legends wiki because they have all the lore really well put together and it, uh, it is in one place, it is easy to read and uh, this is really hot so I'm gonna take that off. Whew. As a follow up to that question, I actually remember all of that lore from when Riot released it. I was there when most of the events happened. For example, a lot of lore actually comes from the Aatrox reveal video because back in the day there was an event where you could actually talk to Ezreal on the forums. That Ezreal was played by, you know, the developer Ezreal that developed Ezreal, but you could talk to him on the forums you could ask him questions and he would actually reply to you and you know it was a cool event so uh, yeah I remember all of those events so I don't really have to search that much for all the information because I said it many times but I remember it. Daniel Harness said what makes you keep playing League of Legends? This is actually a funny story that I'm gonna tell you because I haven't played League in um, Three months? Four months? I got back into League like a month ago, but before that I was actually on a really long break. I, I stopped playing before the AD carry rework, which was like at the end of last year. And I didn't play until, you know, the start of this month or, uh, sorry, uh, uh, yeah, I, I actually got back at the start of March. Yeah, I have no idea when the rework came, but that's exactly how long I didn't play. But to, uh, to answer your question, um, I don't know what keeps me playing. Well, the reason why I took break was because the, the you know the game was kind of the same thing all over again. Every each game was basically the same, but with the all the new champions, what Riot is actually doing is that they are making. Uh, they are making sure that each game is different. For example, uh, you can have, or at least what they are trying to do is that you can have AD carry jungle, you can have uh, Bruiser bottom with support, which is, you know, Mordekaiser Kaiser was the first one, and I believe that they'll try to add in more. But you can have jungle, jungle AD carries like Graves, you can have Kindred, you can have maybe Kalista. But you know, they are trying to mix all the roles so that you can really play each champion wherever you want. And if they succeed at doing that, and so far they are doing a really good job, uh, what will happen is that is that every game will actually feel different and people will not take breaks and they will not leave and they will give 
you know, they, they will buy more RPs, and they will give Red more money, and everyone is happy. Richard Sherman asked, craziest question, if you could summon one champion to hang out with you for a day, who would it be? The first, the first one that came to my mind was Draven, but let's be honest, he would kinda be a dick, but a good guy to hang out with? Mm, 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 mm. I don't know, Zillion would be fun to, to hang out with. He would just show me what I've done and what I'll do and he'll drop some bombs on me and he will maybe rip me apart with the time bombs and... Uh... I'll hang out with Ari, thank you very much. Joseph England asked, what has been your favorite non-MMO PC game? I don't really want to say Mass Effect again, even though Mass Effect is a really good game and it probably is one of the best that I have ever played, you know, if you combine all three together. It's probably my favorite franchise, but my favorite game is, if some of you remember, uh, the Oddworlds game? There was the Apes Odyssey and Apes... Exodus was it? I don't really know the name. I just know that the second one was better than the first one, which means that Exodus was better than the Odyssey. These games were my favorite games when I was younger. Uh, and yeah, they are absolutely my favorite games. And they are actually doing the HD remakes. Actually, the HD remakes are out as far as I know. So if you'd like to play that, you absolutely have the chance. 10 out of 10 if you want my review. Nerdskirt asked, how cool is the Hextech crafting? Don't talk about that. X from Yasuo asked, when are you planning to play with fans again and what's your server? I'm not really informed, sorry. Don't worry, I'll inform you. I used to play fan games. Uh, I don't want to say a lot, but I used to play them. Um, I don't really play them because I honestly don't have the time, even though it sounds weird, but I really don't because some of you may know that I am studying right now at the same time as I'm doing the videos. And when I get back from school, I go and make some videos and the rest of the time that I have, I play some ranked games and that's all the time I have. I really don't have that much time. I was really considering and I still am leaving the school because I could do this full time and it would be my dream and you know I worked for this for 7 years almost and yeah. The other thing that is connected with this that I really want to mention is that I am kinda maybe removing few few people from my friend list because one my, my friend list is full. And two, I really don't want to say that you're bothering me, absolutely not. Like, when I can can reply to you, I will reply to you. But uh, I am trying to uh, work on some videos with some other people and just having the full list of people on there is not really helping me when I'm trying to figure stuff out. So if I, by any chance, remove you from my friend list, please don't be offended by that. Also, if you write me messages on either Twitter or Facebook, you should totally follow me on both. Um, uh, but yeah, whenever you uh, send me a message, please don't be offended if I don't reply to you, because uh, when I had 20,000 subscribers, I was absolutely replying to all of you, but now with 100,000, I... You know, that's a lot of messages that I should be replying to, and uh, I am kind of getting overwhelmed. So please don't be offended if I don't reply to you. I am really trying, I am really responding to everything I can, but sometimes I really don't feel like it because, you know, I come back from school and I don't feel like doing anything and uh, I just make videos. Exodia678 asked, are you gay? Haha, <laughs> please answer. Swagjack asked, who do you think has the most unique kit out of all the champions? The most unique kit, as in, you know, spells that other champions don't have, at least not similar, is Aurelion, definitely. He's the newest one and he definitely has spells unlike anyone else. 
other than that? Unique kit. I mean, Zed has a really unique kit. There is no other champion that, that has similar, like, playstyle. Maybe Yasuo, but Yasuo is still very different from Zed. I'd say Zed, yeah. Nick the Greek asked, How did you start the YouTube? What made you? I started YouTube because of, and I say that a lot, but it was basically because of two people. At the time it was Total Biscuit and it was Jesse Gox. And basically all the people around them. Um, when they were getting big on YouTube, that was around the time uh, Cataclysm, World of Warcraft Cataclysm was uh, getting bigger and bigger. Um, and uh, because they were covering the beta, they got a lot of feedback from pretty much everyone and as they grew, I realized that making videos was now their living and I was like, I want to do that as a living and so I went for it and it took me seven years and I got there maybe, maybe a year, next year. Um, but yeah, who made me do that? Uh, sorry, there, there was actually a friend of mine that got me into making my very first video. I don't really want to say his name, because I kind of showed him in one of my previous videos. But there was a guy that pushed me into making my first uh, video that was serious, that was a World of Warcraft production paladin tutorial. It is seen in the, you know, seven years of Negrit, or was it six years? Seven years. Um, in that video, in one of the first shots, you can actually see the two videos on, from your view, the right side. But yeah, um, I just did it because I kind of wanted to make it a living and I knew I would like it and so I stuck with it and I went for it and I have not stopped yet. Actually, uh, I can show you one thing my, as, as my screen kind of got down. Um, this, this is a note that I wrote to myself some time ago, and it says this. I have no idea why I spelled partner with nine, but you can see that the date is uh, is the New Year's Eve of 2012. And as in, you know, from 2011 into 2012. Um, and I basically said to myself that I'll do it. And I signed myself a contract, even though it says nothing but my name, but I've done it. You know, it's all just determination. If you want to do it, just do it. But don't you dare stop, because if you stop, that means you don't have determination. And you know what determination is, because you have played Undertale. God damn it, Eddie, stop bumping my microphone. Hextech Craft asked, can you do a rap about a champion? <laughs> no, I honestly can't. Impolic Geode asked, Will you do a collaboration with Dippen? I don't know Dippen. Will I? Will I do it? Will I collab? God damn it, Eddie. What are you doing? Emmy Denborg asked, Have you played Undertale? If so, did you like it? Yes, I've played it, and yes, I liked it. I know that it is kinda overrated, or not, so, sorry, sorry, sorry. Not overrated, it is kinda overhyped because people that play Undertale now and they know that it is considered to be the best game in the world they'll kind of be disappointed because it is the kind of game game that you need to go in blind and if you don't do that you don't get the full experience and I personally I didn't get the full experience I, I kind of knew what the game was about and I still enjoyed it so that kind of tells you how good that game is also, the music is very overused in the videos. God damn it, Eddie. The Mighty KL 3000M said, Do you think that we will see a series or anime or at least a movie about League lore in the future? Honestly, the highest chance is that we will get an animated series for uh, a, a bit of lore, similar to the Bard one, but, you know, longer. But yeah, I think that we will, because... Um, Riot's biggest opponent at the time, uh, sorry, uh, you know, at this time, is Blizzard. And we kind of know what Blizzard does to their Overwatch, so... Riot will have to kind of step up if you've seen the new animated series that Blizzard has done for, you know, their lore. 
Roy Gertz asked, which is your favorite Pokemon? That is a hard question, but it has to be someone from the first generation and it has to be Nidoking. It is absolutely Nidoking. The second part of his question was, may I end the Q&A? Yes. Yes, you may. And with that, I will end this little awkward video. So yeah, if you liked this video, then feel free to like it. And if you didn't, then absolutely don't like it. And I don't know, I'll see if I'll do more videos like this one. Because videos like these take me two to, two to three hours of work to complete. And then, you know, it's ready to upload. While the lore videos take me about eight to 12 hours of work. So you know i can do a lot more of those so yeah if you'd like to see me do a gameplay then absolutely tell me in the comments that's probably the best way and if you'd like me to do more hextech openings then absolutely call for it because did you actually like the hextech opening because for some reason that video has more views than the lore of Z and shen one of the two more most requested champions so if you'd like to see more of those then yeah say so and thank you so much for actually uh, sticking here with me thank you so much for watching this you you know that i really do appreciate it without you and you know i'm saying to you i'm saying it to you i would be nothing and i really mean it it is because of you that i am where i am and i am living almost my dream and i'll get there into my dream very soon and it is because of you so thank you so much for being here and as absolutely always thank you come again <laughs>